Wack 1069. It's going to be probably like the trailer almost. It, actually, I'm titling it the pilot for, for the podcast. So if, if you're wondering, the, the episode with Wack, me and 69 is coming Tuesday. The podcast isn't starting Tuesday. Just to let you know. It's, it's, a, it's a pilot episode type of thing. Um, I don't want to. I, I just don't want to be like these other niggas, man. These niggas is bo- like y'all be watching some of these niggas. They are so fucking. Bo- I don't know. Yo, who runs the podcast game? Somebody just let me know who who the fuck runs the podcast game these days. And and and, and I be tired of these niggas just saying the like little PC shit. Oh, we all getting whatever, nigga. Academics been getting his shit from day one. I came here to be number one. I ain't come here to be two, three, four, five. And if y'all ain't talking like that, cool. But I only came here for one. Now, we not talking about Rogan. <laughs> Lose Rogan. I'm talking about the hip-hop podcast fear. And if your podcast about some other shit, I ain't competing with you. You feel me? I ain't gonna have no girls, like, you know what I mean, squirting on chairs. That ain't my shit. I'm talking about if you're having cultural conversations, hip-hop conversations, who got the spot right now? It will give me a bar to aim at. And not, uh, by the way, I don't want to take shots to nobody. You get me? I like to compete. You know what I mean? Half of these niggas, let me not get off my pivot because I was about to mention a whole bunch of shit. Anyway, um, point blank period, you guys will get a trailer to my podcast. The podcast will follow probably a couple weeks after, like the full podcast. I could tell you. The format right now. I'm going to tell you the format right now. I'm going to do a podcast three times a week. Okay? Don't ask me about content. Nigga, I make content. Nigga, I run academics. I'm academics, nigga. We going to make it happen three times a week. Twice a week, you're going to have me just rambling, talking shit, clowning, joking, ranting, violating, doing whatever you see me do on Twitch except on steroids. And then... From time to time, maybe once a week, I'll have a guest on or whatever. You know me. I don't really fuck with guests, even though my first trailer is a guest episode. But we're going to make the guest, the guest-based episodes really dope. In the a, in a episodes that is just me, I ain't got no co-host, ain't no bum-ass niggas about to try to Ruri and Mealy Ball me. Come on, I'm a king. I can't do that, okay? I can't go out like them bum <laughs> Yo, good. whatever they got over there, good, good shit. Anyway. Uh, I will have rotating guest hosts. You on today, you off tomorrow, nigga. All right? The only common face you're going to see is the chat nigga king is me, nigga. Straight up. We ain't with that other shit. You ain't going to never see another nigga who was ad-libbing me come take my shit. Never in life. Okay? So you're going to see, I'm going to bring in everybody. I might bring in people who are hardcore hip-hop fans. You know what I mean? I might bring in, you know, Few people with interest and perspective might bring in a few thoughts. Might bring in a few, you know, I mean, respectable women. Might bring in a few educated people. We're going to try to keep the topics kind of centered around the culture. But that is to come. And y'all could tell me who y'all think should pop on for episode or two. You know, we're going to kind of have roundtable discussions most of the time if we're talking about situations, okay? Once again, let me remind y'all, this is the academic show. Okay. Also, for all my chat niggas who are here, I will also let y'all know straight off the rip. Academics calls all the shots. I determine the format. It's what I want. Okay. And it's important to say that not on an egotistical way, because, you know, respectfully, when I've done other things, I've loved everyday struggle, but I had to deal with other people's opinions egos other people's whatever corporate whatever what they wanted the show to be this gets to live on the molehill or the 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 fucking mountain of academics so if we succeed it's going because what i say or what the direction i wanted to go in works or it doesn't work and i'm down to take fully responsibility if it doesn't one of the things that when I did Everyday Struggle, there's a lot of times topics I wanted to touch, guests I wanted to have on, 
debates or whatever I wanted to get into. But I was it wasn't a dictatorship. I couldn't just be like, that's what's going on. And that would be a bad teammate. And I'm a good teammate when it comes to shit like that. So, you know, we passed on certain guests that I would personally have. We passed on certain things that I would personally delve into. We passed on, on, on many things that I would think that this is what, whatever, whatever. And, you know, thank God I have my YouTube channel to kind of make up for it. But um, on this particular podcast, we'll get into everything. There ain't nobody on my show like, oh, act, don't talk about that. I'm going to tell you this already. Off the rip, somebody tapped me already. They said, act, do you want? I submitted a three-hour episode. I won't say, you know, salute to my partners. Y'all find out about them later. Somebody tapped me. They said, yo, do you want a lawyer to look over this? I said, nah. I make all the decisions, which I like. I said, nah. I, I thoroughly vetted, looked at everything. We not going to edit this shit up to make it some corporate, whatever the case is. Let that shit ride. And I've always, and I'm not going to lie to you, I'm going to hang this whole thing on just how I've done content on, on, on YouTube. Um, I'm going to play the, I'm going to play the little clip in, in the beginning, uh, in a little bit, but I see some, we shot in Miami. That's not my set. Like we shot in Miami at, you know, salute to my guys at Fresh and Fit. They were very nice enough to allow me to use their studio, really makeshift. We got it done. I'm going to tell all y'all niggas, too, I'm here for good content. If you're here for pretty visuals and pretty colors and shit like that, eat a dick. I'm telling you straight up and down. If you're here for what y'all want to see, come through, okay? Might be a little grainy. Might have a fucked up logo. A, a nigga's arm might be all the way in the camera. Shit, a nigga, nigga, nigga pinky might be over the lens. But you want the bullshit? You want all the right shit? Whatever you want. I might have Meg sitting down with Tori. I might have, nigga, we finna get it. If that's the only way I'm doing this shit. I'm getting it, I'm getting it lit. Whatever y'all want to see, this is a heavyweight fight. If y'all want pretty pictures, y'all niggas go look in a coloring book or go look over there. One thing y'all be able to say about my shit, y'all would never call my shit boring. Y'all know how I give it up by myself. And by the way, I got to tell y'all about this episode that's coming out. It's unedited. There's no edits. Zero edits. When I said it was, when I said, yo, we filmed it and I had to edit it, I didn't mean we were like, we're editing stuff. Like, really, I just can't drop it at the moment because there was a plan in place as a rollout and I don't want to fuck up shit. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm working with people. You get me? Listen, your boy... Your boy know how to play the corporate game, but your boy is still the nigga who rock with y'all on Twitch. All right? I'm going to give y'all more info next week about how shit might change or won't change when it comes to any relationship I have. But I just want to remind everybody who rock with me, Academics is a completely independent media platform. I own all my shit. I've gotten offers to sell parts of it. Have an investor? <laughs> no. <laughs> I do what I want. However, I do partner with people. Okay? But it's important to know that for what I'm doing, um, and and, and, and I, I want to I be transparent in how this even happened. Again, we're going to speak more next week. I, I, I linked up with a... Actually, I won't mention it right now. Next week, we'll have the full conversation. But anyway, the whole point of me saying that is that um, I don't want y'all niggas to start being on some fake shit with me. Like, yo, act you, whatever. No. If, if y'all don't like nothing, blame it on me. Straight up. I'm the full boss. I'm producing this whole podcast. Which means, like, you know, if you're in the New York, New, New York, New Jersey area, you know, I found some dope dude that did illustration recently. He just made, like, a little dope-ass logo for me. A new one. <laughs> Y'all gonna see it. Um, but I'm doing everything myself. I'm an independent entrepreneur. This is how I came up. If we gotta look a little fucked up at first till we get to, to it being perfect, rock with me. Just rock with me, okay? 
I'm making changes on the fly. Every time I, I get some advice, I read all y'all comments. I see some people say, yo, act, we love you, but that logo ain't it. I immediately hit my niggas. I say, I bet you, this ain't it. All right, come on, what we about to do? We got some other shit that we rocking with for now, and I'm going to get y'all feedback. So I only say that to say, I don't care which corporate partner you're going to see on, on this particular situation. I own, um, what's it called? On the Sticks. So On the Sticks is a show that's owned by me. It's licensed from me by Complex. But a lot of it is complex. Like, you know, once I license it to them, I do have I do have final say, but a lot of their shit is kind of already set in stone by a lot of the sales team. When they get when they come to me like, hey, so and so wants to spend this amount of money on this season, blah, 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 blah. This is their terms. You know, yeah, I could kind of argue, but shit, part of it is kind of secure in the bag. You know, it's, it's a show that was really inspired by Twitch. But this podcast is is it's I'm I'm, I'm Giving y'all the get go now because this is like my baby. This I I'm gonna tell you how long I've been working on this. I took my first meeting about or I started no no we started looking to take meetings. Me and my lawyer a year ago I was still on everyday struggle, but I felt like that platform was a little bit different and I needed a platform that I could be me and me unapologetically and that I could ascend with. I'm telling y'all now, this is a platform that I've chosen for what y'all used to see me with everyday struggle with this new podcast. I'm putting my all into it. So I know y'all, I was just not streaming because whatever, whatever I'm doing match. Nigga, I, I'm doing mad shit. Like I'm building out, at my headquarters right now, I'm building out that studio. And I mean, when I mean everything, this is the part where I know you, I, somebody told me, they're like, yo, you should film this. Man, I'm building this shit out from scratch. Like, people be asking where the team at. I'm like, nigga, I'm in there lifting boxes. I'm in there fucking sweeping, mopping, doing everything every day. I'm not bigger than the work. You feel me? I'm an entrepreneur. I'm going to get it done. So, you know, I'm building out my studio. Y'all will eventually see that when it when, when the show actually premieres, you'll see what my studio looks like. I don't even know what it's going to look like. I mean, I approved a couple of designs. I'm paying for shit. It's going to happen, but I'm putting the work to get to it. You feel me? Um, Yeah. So, y'all will see that. Did I miss anything? Yeah, no, nah, it's not no, no, no big bullshit. It's like, yo, you got to be humble enough. For me, I'm humbling. Yo, remember I told you I had a headquarters space that I spent goddamn near. I got it on my birthday two years ago. I've never used it. I damn near spent almost $200,000 in rent. I'm renting the spot. It's a big ass commercial space in a real nice spot. This is the first time I've gotten an opportunity to use it. So I'm down hella money, but. Who cares? Let's make it in the future. So, you know, like, for, that, that, for anybody who watch my, my vision, I always, I, I hope if you a chat nigga and you here, listen, you see all them dick riders? We gonna make some announcements next week. You know everybody gonna be like, damn, this nigga, nigga, nigga act, just keep winning. Oh my God, this nigga act. They gonna be mad, mad tight. Nobody gonna ever be with you on the ground level when you catching them L's, when every time they, they taking money out of my bank account, I'm tight. When I'm fucking, like, I'm, I'm going, to, I'm walking up to the motherfucking, Jersey City permits um office. I'm trying to like, yo, what's up? I'm paying. What's good? Nobody see that. I'm trying to give y'all the full 360 view. This is not all just happy go lucky. This is not just we're having fun and money's raining from the sky. This is a lot of me putting in work. This is me even like I'm at the point where I'm like, yo. Of course, I'm waiting on some designers to do certain, certain shit, but I'm like, man, if we got to get this shit soundproof. Like, right now, they finally built out some shit. I spent 35 grand on that. They were killing me with permits. Took so fucking long. They stopped work for the dudes that was doing it. We had to pay for motherfucking um, some extra insurance shit because I don't, like, I don't even, I hate calling racist. I'm, I'm bitch. It might sound like I'm bitching to y'all. I'm giving y'all the plight of an entrepreneur. 
Don't ever think or say you want to be me unless you're down for everything. Getting on this mic right here and I, and I violate niggas and talk and have a good time, this is really easy. But I want to give the people who inspire. And by the way, you know, I also want to shout out to my guys over at Fresh and Fit. Because, and, and, you know, I did their show recently. And one of the reasons, I wasn't even going to do their show, but, but I had to. You know, they told me, they said, act, we got the idea of making our own platform from watching y'all, from watching you. Like, we're chat niggas. I looked at my DMs. He was DMing me from 2017. Now he has a really good product. He has a really good platform, and I'm really happy for him. But if any, if I don't ever give y'all anything, I, will, I would hope to give y'all the whole plight, the whole truth, not just the glitz and the glamour. And I know recently I've only been showing, like, I've been showing the, the, the glitz and glamour shit recently. Like you see the cards that's entered. Next time, next time when I'm mopping up this spot at midnight or whenever the fuck going on, or I'm like, I ain't gonna lie. Next week I'm gonna be painting. I ordered paint. I'm about to be up in there painting. I'm sorry. I gotta let y'all know. To be a boss, you gotta do all of that. You gotta, you gotta do what everything a soldier would do. And that's why, you know, I have the utmost confidence that it's going to work. But, I, you know, I like to bring you along with the journey. Anyway, um, we'll get more into that. If you watch me on Instagram, I'll show you more of that. But let me tell you how this first episode came about. And there is a clip that we did. It's three hours long. 